bumper to bumper traffic with a difference. West Australians turned out in droves to get tested for COVID on the public holiday. And with cases climbing, parents in Perth searched for COVID safe ways to keep children entertained this long weekend. Some finding solace at playgrounds and many turning to the zoo. You feel a little bit nervous when there's lots of cases around you, wondering if, if it will be you next. Do you go to school? Uh, kindy. Kindy, and what year are you in? Um, year one. For so many their age, stuck isolating as close contacts of sick classmates, their parents have been forced to spend a week at home too. Until now, relaxed rules will allow parents to keep going to work and siblings to stay in school while a child serves a close contact isolation period. There hasn't been a bookshelf we could go to and take off a book that says how to deal with the pandemic. So this latest advice has come from the Chief Health, Health Officer and I imagine for some parents it'll be relief. It's all a bit confusing. I know we're all trying to figure out what the rules are. As the details filter out, there's been mixed views. I'm a little bit edgy about that. They're a close contact, you're a close contact, that's all. For um, my opinion, I think the whole school should be shut down anyway, but again... I guess it's made it a bit easier for us to be a bit, still live quite normally. Depending on the needs of a quarantining child, a parent or carer may need to stay home. And there's some steps the health department recommends, such as minimising contact with the child, using a separate bathroom if possible, and avoid having children share a bedroom. During that period, families should also minimise contact with vulnerable relatives, such as elderly grandparents. James Carmody, ABC News.